your opinion of good times? Uh, having fun with my friends and chilling out. Good times? I love good times. Good times? Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean good times? The band. The band. Never heard of it. Okay. Oh. Good Times, originally known as The Hand-Me-Downs, formed by two Carver Middle School students in mid-2005, now composed of four Parkview High School students, all juniors. With catchy songs and sold-out shows, these boys are slowly gaining popularity in the Springfield hardcore scene. But who are these teenage renegades? Uh, so you are the guitarist for The Good Times. I'm the guitarist and lead singer. Oh, Ben. I love Ben. He's amazing. Awesome vocalist. He's very quiet. We originally started as the Hand Me Downs in seventh grade. Hand Me Downs, three words. Combined into one, so there's hyphens required. Me and Jordan. A Jordan Easter. Oh, he just, he walks on water, doesn't he? He does, that's true. I used to write songs in his house, and we sang them to each other and really weird stuff like that. Who's good times? Like the hand-me-downs? Um, I like hand me downs better. We went through various members. Ben, drums. Me, guitar. Me, bass. Ezra, guitar. Until we decided on Will as our drummer. Will Hopkins is really hot. Not gonna lie. I was a struggling musician trying to find my way, and I heard it, and I thought, these guys, they have some potential. They're a little weird. Do you want to come in my car while I drive into a different spot? But, you know, if I get in there, I could do some that. I could work some magic, maybe come out on top. I don't know. We'll see where the night takes us. Then a little longer, we, a, little, a little later, we got Michael here on a guitar. Hey, classic. Michael Duff. Who's Michael Duff? On oh, Michael Duff? Yeah. I don't know why. Michael's a good guy. He's cool. He's goofy. Is he like up for uh, Teen Idol of the Year? Uh, I'm Michael. I joined the band uh, about seven or, seven or eight years ago when they needed a fill-in guitar player whenever they went on tour. I've been an avid guitar player my whole life. Not a single day goes by where I don't sit down and just play guitar for countless hours. It all started when I was two or three, I guess. Uh, my mom bought me just a little, a little guitar, and ever since then, I've just gone from there. Versus amazing history. Carver Originals Ben Latimer and Jordan Easter met with Will Hopkins in seventh grade to form the hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs, um, since seventh grade. Um, I first played a show, a talent show. Pretty sick, nice little kick the microphone stand. That was the best show ever that we ever played because Ben kicked the mic stand. It was more punk, not quite as much pop, more like punk rockish, I'd say. He kicked it over, it was so punk rock, dude. The original sound can only be described as just terrible. So here, we started out and we recorded Miss Led, Miss Red, and those were some good, catchy, lyrical songs, whatever. They were kind of indie, like alternative rock, if you will, I don't know. We recorded them, and they were really bad. And uh, <clears throat> so then we decided 
Well, let's try to write some catchy tunes, some more punk rock, you know, Blink-182, Green Day influence songs. Hand-me-downs, when they first started out, you know, they showed real good promise. Um, I mean, I really thought they sounded a lot like Green Day and Blink-182. So we did that. We wrote our new album, or the newer than that one, which was Prelude. <laughs> Kind of it was our transition from mm, crappy to pop punk type music. It's it's really just a mixture of the one that I haven't released yet that everybody has and uh, their original. It's it's punk. It punk rock rockish. Not quite. It's not quite as fast. You know, it was just a transition piece. It kind of showed how we went from one place to another. And those had better songs on it, but we were still three-piece. So we started thinking, like, how can we expand and make ourselves better? And we got it. We thought about getting a new guitar player. So we saw this guy. We found him in a toilet. His name is Michael Duff. He's aight. And he plays the guitar. With a new permanent lineup, the band was ready to progress, but in order to move forward and gain respect, they needed a name change. The name change is a necessity because anytime anyone hears the hand-me-downs, they're like, oh, those guys, they're in seventh grade, right? Uh, good times have really matured. Uh, when they first started out, it sounded like uh, some pussy eighth grade band. We had zero respect. So that was that was a need for a name change. Now you know they're pretty pretty pop punk. We'd been called the hand me downs ever since seventh grade when we started. So that was we just felt like we're sort of becoming a new band and we needed a new name for that. Our music and the people had changed so much that we decided to go in a new direction. With the new name, the band started to gain more popularity as more people started to go to the shows, which became better and better. Good time shows are pretty crazy. Um, I mean, you hear about kids doing crazy things on the weekends. No, good time shows are ten times crazier. Recently, like, they're getting bigger in Springfield, and so the bro population outside of Parkview and in Parkview usually show up. I mean, just go to a show and you'll see what I mean. You'll get the greatest high that you'll ever get. Stage diving a little bit. Um, nice gang vocals. It's pretty crazy. No one is quite sure what is in store for the future of the band. All we can hope is that they have some good times.